Hello everyone, I'm Farmer Sim and welcome back to Court Farms Country Park and this is episode 17 of my Let's Play series. So I hope you're all doing good and having a nice day. As you can see, we're here, we're in my new office. Uh, very, very uh, happy with my new office. My big, green, powerful office. Uh, running the baler, picking up all the straw out of this, uh, out of our new field. We're going to get everything baled up here and we're going to sell it all for money, obviously. We don't really need uh, to hold on to it as it were at the minute. We've got we've got eight bales over in the in the the shed where the combine is at the minute, so uh, we've got enough to fall back on for the cows at the minute. So all this can be sold and get some money into the bank again. Now we do uh, we've got a, a decent amount of money in the bank at the minute. We've got uh, what have we got eighty three thousand four hundred and seventy seven. So uh, that's uh, good enough for me for the minute. Um. What I do intend to do today, I've had a bit of a thought, bit of a think, uh, because we now own this field, and this is a... Uh, uh, don't get me wrong, I know it's not massive, but compared to the fields that we've owned so far, it's a fair bit bigger. Um, the mulch is obviously a good size for this field, it's fine, but the one thing that is a bit lacking size-wise is our cedar. Now, there's nothing wrong with it, it's a great piece of kit. Uh, is three meters wide, but I think um, I think we would benefit from a slightly bigger cedar. Now, the one that we've got, the, the Sulky P100, that has a current value of about 30,000. 30, That's what it says it's worth when I go into the menus. I might get a little bit more for it if I take it down to the actual dealership um, and sell it there. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to investigate that. Um, but I have my eye on what I'm thinking. I'm going to do is if I just pop in and show you here. Where are we? Cedars. Um, where are we? This one here, the Gill Airsum 6040. So that it's currently at 17,000. If I up the capacity to 2,500, um, keep it in the old design. Um, so yeah, 17,750 pounds. It is just a cedar. It doesn't do uh, it doesn't do fertilizer as well. But I don't need to. Uh, we we we've got the uh, that Kubota thing, haven't we? that can do lime and solid fertilizer and obviously we still have a couple of big bags and a bit of a pallet's worth of solid fer solid fertilizer left so i don't need to worry about not being able to fertilize it'll just be an extra job i'll have to do which is fine um but what it does mean obviously is it, it means i can i can sell the the current cedar we have the sulky p100 buy the new one uh at 17 715 i'll make a few quid off that essentially so it'll be what 13 Potentially about 13,000 I'll be able to make just just by selling the, that cedar and uh, picking up the new one. Now the new one's six meters wide I think so it's it's a bit bigger. Um, it means obviously the, the time it takes to seed a field will take a bit less but it's uh, it'll be a bit bigger and it'll get this field done especially in a bit less time um, and I'll make a couple of quid from it so I think it's a no-brainer really. Um, so that's that so we're going to get this field done we're going to uh, obviously get the get the straw picked up we're going to get all the bales picked up we're going to find what uh sell point is paying the most amount of money for them at the minute and we'll get them trundled over there and sold and see what we make from that uh, and also our field of soybeans is ready to harvest so that's going to be job number two i think yep um and then obviously amongst that we're going, we've got this field to completely prep we're going to mulch it we're going to lime we're going to uh, I still need to figure what crop we're going to get in there. I haven't quite decided that yet. Um, but in fact, let's just have a quick pop into the crop calendar and see where we are. Right, so we are. We, we've now got the next three months are the planting window for wheat, barley, canola, and oat. Um, so I think obviously we've we've not done this one had barley in it. Um, but I think for a bit of crop rotation, I'm going to stick, I'll potentially stick some wheat or some oat in here. Um, where are we with linseed? Oh, we could plant another linseed, couldn't we? But, um, no, I think for a bit of variation, uh, I think, I think I might just go with wheat in this field. Uh, that's the plan anyway. So I'm going to crack on with this. We're going to see how, uh, see how we do with this. And I shall pick you all back up in a wee while when all the bales are picked up and... Uh, potentially, I'll, I'll keep a record of uh, how much we make as we sell them. I may well pick the camera back up for you guys when I've uh, when I've got the last trailer load to sell. So, see you all in a wee while.
Right, that job's done. We gathered together, all in all, 36 bales, and we got £10,119 for all of them. So, whoops, that was a bit of a bump, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so we did alright from that, just over 10 grand. That'll do for me. Just what we needed, a bit of extra cash. We were never going to really do much with those bales. We don't need them right now, so let's get this bale trailer disconnected from the Ford and I think what I'm going to do I'm going to take the cedar I'm going to empty the cedar of what's in it I think there is a bit of seed and furt in there we're going to give it a clean if it needs it and we're going to take it down to the shop and sell it and buy another one that's a bit wider so I'm going to crack on with that I think I'm going to use the uh, use our original fent for that job go let's park that one up nicely in the workshop engine off jobs are good and right okay so this one it is dwarfed by that one I thought this was pretty big but <laughs> no so let's hitch this one up I don't actually think it needs a wash does it I think I did that the other day right let's get to there Connect it up, PTO, lift it up, and we'll have to bring it, let's just bring it out here for now, and we will unload it. Got it? There we go. And there's the big bag mod. Excellent. Right, so, yeah, let's get this to the shop. It's a shame to see it go, because it's a really good bit of kit. There's nothing wrong with it. I just, uh figured now that we've got a slightly bigger field that we could do with a slightly bigger cedar and as I said before without repeating myself I'm going to sell this one and we'll end up with a few quid more in the bank so right let's send this off to RBM Agricultural and get it exchanged be interesting to see what they give me for it actually because I'm, I'm, I'm sure I've experienced it before where the uh, the in-game menu the valuation it gives you for your kit sometimes is a bit less than what you'd actually get if you sold it at the shop. So, yeah. Let's go see what they'll give us for it. Right, here we are. RBM Agricultural. Now, I have just turned the interactive zone marker things on, but... Can't see them anywhere. Where's the... Uh Let's have a look. I thought there'd be that little yellow grid somewhere out here. Where? Or is it in here? Might be in there, mightn't it? Let's uh, stick it up here, shall we? See what happens. Okay. So. Dum, dum, dum. £33,055. Doesn't need repairing. That's great. But yeah, it does. I've got an extra three, three thousand, two thousand nine hundred and ninety-eight pounds. I think I've got from uh, selling it here instead of just through the in-game menu. It was going to give me thirty thousand and fifty-seven. In fact, let's. I'll, I'll just show it to you just for the sake of for the sake of showing it to you. So in the cedars, there we go, thirty thousand. If I was to sell that for thirty thousand and fifty pounds, we're not going to. We're going to do it there. Uh, sell. For thirty-three thousand and fifty-five pounds, yes, sold. There we go, excellent stuff. Right, let's clamber back up here, pull this thing out. I do love those work ramps; they're way cool, aren't they? Um, right, so let's just abandon this thing here for a second. Turn off. We shall pop in here. This is a brilliant little shop as well. I love the detail in here. It's wonderful. I could do with one of them myself. In real life, I mean. <laughs> right, okay. So let's pop in here. Let's have... Where are we? Uh, nope, wrong one. Up here. Cedars. Go. So 2,500 capacity. Don't need to worry about any of that. Any of that. 
Uh, yep, 17,755 quid. Excellent stuff. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Oh, put my tractor in the way, hadn't I? Right. Another green bit of kit. <laughs> but hopefully this should... We'll certainly reduce our drilling time, with it being six metres instead of the old, uh, the old three. There we go. Let's see what it looks like unfolded, eh? Oh yeah, that'll do nicely, won't it? That will do just fine. That's way cool. Drop it down. Oh, which one am I doing here? I need to bring the menu up. I was just going to try and uh, open the cover, but I don't think I can with this one either, can I? Okay. Right, so let's fold that one up. Yeah, forgive me then. I was just trying to see if I could manually open the cover and have a peek inside, but I think it must be like the other one where it just, it just automatically opens when you bring it near some seed. So bring it near some seed we shall. We shall take it back to the farm get it loaded up with seed and just park it for now until we're ready to use it although technically we are I've got something I can drill right now Have to remind myself so anyway let's send this back to the farm why do you do that and stopping to admire my seed don't beep at me I'll flatten you but he was stopping to admire my new cedar then but no clearly not Right. Okay, so we'll get this back home. And we shall make a plan from there. Right, we're back at the farm. And I'm slightly annoyed with myself, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, it's not a direct cedar. I didn't think about that. It's just something that completely slipped my mind. Um, I'm going to soldier on with it. What it means I'm going to have to do is I'm obviously just going to have to run the cultivator uh, very quickly over the fields that I plan on drilling before I drill, because I've just tested it and this won't do a thing. Yeah, so uh, my mistake, silly mistake, I need to learn from that in the future. Um, the sulky was a direct drill. Um, but you know what? We'll manage. I'm sure we'll be fine. I don't think my precision farming score will be too negatively affected by it. We're, we're currently sat at, I've got, a, I've got a score of 90 and 91 in these three fields, so obviously this one, we've not done a huge amount in this one, so um, yeah, but yeah, that was something I was just, I was, I hadn't considered until I was on the journey home with it, and I just suddenly froze and thought, oh, whoops, and sure enough, no, it's not a direct seeder, I have just uh, come out of the game and had a quick, uh, quick peruse through the mod hub. Um, there were a couple of other cedars. They weren't quite as big as this one. They were, I think they were both four meters, actually, um, that were direct drills, but they were considerably more expensive. I think they were knocking on the door of somewhere between 40 and 50 grand. So, yeah, silly me. But it's still going to work perfectly fine. It will still get the ground drilled perfectly fine. I just need to run the cultivator. So um, I think I might just do that. I'll quickly get that set up now, in fact, yeah, let's just jump in the Massey. Um, and we shall get the cultivator hooked up to this, and I'm going to run it on course play very quickly uh, while we are tracking on with the soybean harvest. So let's hook this thing up. I do hate making silly mistakes like that, though. Just kind of dove in thinking, oh yeah, excited, new seed, a new toy. Save a few quid, yeah. Well done, mate. Cool. <laughs> right. So, I shall get this one running in here, and I shall also get it running in that one there, what used to be the linseed field. And then... We shall get... Uh, and get the harvest going. So, I'll get this one running and I'll pick you all back up very soon when I've got it sorted.
Right, the mass is cracking on with that. And I have just I just wanted to check just for my own peace of mind that the uh, that the new seed of the Gil Airson will work on this double tillage, which it does, so that's all tickety boo. But let's crack on. We're gonna crack on with our soybean harvest. I'll just leave that uh, big thing there. No, actually, do you know what? We'll put it away for now. So it's not in the way of anything. We shall reverse this in here. There we go. Drop it down. Oh dear. Oh dear, they did. Oh really? Am I not going to be able to... Oh, this is a bit odd, isn't it? I thought I was just going to be able to lower it down. Or have I just got to disconnect it? I think I have, haven't I? Yeah, we've just got to drop it to the ground. <laughs> okay, realism level zero there, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know what? We're going to stick with this one as well for now. We're going to run the grain cart with this today. So, let's hook this thing up. Do you know what? While I've got a couple of quid, I might invest in a paint job on this trailer as well, potentially. Uh, let's just turn that off for now. I need to jump in the Ford. We need to get the grain header over to the field. And the harvester, of course. We'll get that running. And we'll see what yield we get from that. Right, so I'll get all this uh, all this stuff connected up and sent over to the field, and I shall pick you all back up just before we start. Now let's carefully thread this beastie through here and get it connected up to the header. There we go. Excellent stuff. Let's unfold the harvester. We shall connect the PTO. Oh, oh goodness me. I didn't even see that there was a massive hill there. Goodness me. <laughs> right, okay. Switch her on. Oh, well, let's just check we've got... Uh, yeah, we've got the straw swath turned on. Right, we'll crack on with this. I think I shall pop this into one of my usual montages and I shall see you all in a wee while. Oh, we don't get straw from this, do we? Right, see you all soon.
Right, this is the last of it. We've just put 13 tonnes into the silo. Just pull forward a bit more. There we go. That's better. Yeah, we've just popped the 13 tonnes in the silo and just a very little bit left in the combine. There we go, that's all done. Right, let's uh, jump in the combine. I can actually get in there. <laughs> right. Pipe in. Let's go and uh, take this header off. Get everything back to the yard. And we'll see what's next. What's next is, I want to give this trailer a coat of paint. It's looking a bit sorry for itself. Obviously it doesn't affect its use whatsoever. Um, it's just missing most of its paint, isn't it? And I do quite fancy seeing it in all of its orangey-yellow splendour. Uh, I've just had a price from the shop at, for just over £2,000. So that's actually quite reasonable. So I'm going to fire this off to the shop. We're going to get that painted. But what I also would like to do, and it's very much a case of want to do, not need to do, um, I quite fancy a new workshop. Um, now I have just been having a bit of a bit of a test around in a few places, um, and I have uh, just to see where things will sit. Uh, if I pop into the construction menu, I was on it a second ago. I've got to go all the way back, and it's one of these beauties by Lancy Boy. This one in particular for 45 grand it calls itself a lawn barn a garage to store your vehicles and tools so in my mind and yes i'm going to be taking more of this field away i guess uh i guess in a, in a month or so's time a couple of months time there'll be none of this field left i did i did toy with the idea of placing it down here somewhere and taking this little awkward piece of field away somewhere um but because of the hill because of the incline on it it just doesn't quite sit right and i don't quite fancy uh, doing mountains of uh, of landscaping work around it and smoothing it all off, so and it doesn't. In, personally, I, th I it doesn't quite sit right because because this end piece here, it's, the, the, it's got like a shelter at the end of it, hasn't it? That you can put stuff under. Um, the only real way I could make use of that is by either ha either having it this way or that way, and it has to be this way because the door's only on one side. If I put it there, it's being blocked off by the hedge. So yeah, that's uh, where my mind is with this now. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a bit of a bit of a dabble around in construction mode. I reckon in my mind I've, I kind of fancy placing it somewhere about here um, and just trimming this field around it again. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna pop this somewhere here. I'll, I'll, as I say, I'll have a bit of a dabble in construction mode, get all the landscaping done, and paint a little paint the the ground up to it and stuff. Um, but first of all, let's let's send this off to the shop spend a couple of thousand pounds on this thing getting it uh, getting its paint brought back to life I thought two grand was quite reasonable to be honest considering I know that um, tractors for example in uh, in mine and Mrs. Sim Gamer's um, uh, Purbeck thing although that was repairing sorry I think I'm getting mixed up yeah re repairing was going to be about 17 grand on a tractor um, forgive me sorry I'm waffling no I'm uh, thinking of the wrong thing um, but repairing this thing is actually only a couple of hundred quid. So repairing and repainting is going to cost me, I, th I think it's about two and a half grand, give or take. Which I think is, is about right. So yeah, we'll get you, send on your way. So that'll be cool. Um, yeah, and I will, as I say, I'm going to have a bit, of a bit of a fiddle around. I am also considering placing some chickens down, placing a little chicken pasture down somewhere again potentially in this little field um but yeah and uh, and maybe some bees as well actually for the obviously the bees and the chickens will will eventually give us income the bees produce honey the chickens produce eggs i can i can buy a couple of pallets of uh, ready-made chicken food to keep them going until uh until i plant a field of wheat or oh, actually no i think i might have stuff in there already that i can give them haven't i what have i got i've got i don't know i'll figure it but yeah, so, I shall pick you all back up in a wee while when I've potentially got myself a new shed to look at.
Right, what do you think, everyone? Lancy Boy's Lawn Shed. An absolute beauty. Lancy Boy's work is incredible, isn't it? Any of you who've seen his mods. Um, and this one's been around for a wee while. I think I do remember having this one on Carmsden, actually, somewhere. But, yeah, I've always uh, always loved these things. I had an urge to pop one down on here. It's one, it's one part of the game that I've always utterly loved um, ever since FS19, when I, when I found the whole uh, game itself, uh, was actually building my own farm um i would lose myself for hours days making a farm from scratch um and obviously i haven't really had the opportunity to do it here because oxy's done such a wonderful job for me for us um but i did feel i wanted to wanted to do something place a place i know i've done the uh i've done those foil tunnels but uh, that's not really what i meant it's you know big sheds like this and i know I, you know i didn't necessarily need it but i wanted it and there's a difference um, so this is now my tractor shed, essentially. So let's pop the door. And the combine, of course, but essentially the, the vehicle shed. Um, and as you will see, admittedly it was done particularly quickly for a paint job, but we have a beautifully painted trailer. Got to shine the, uh, the torch on it there. If I stand on this side, you might see it in the sunlight. There we go. Yeah, done. 2000... 100 quid I think it cost and 230 quid to repair it so yeah 23 2400 quid all in and it's now looking absolutely splendid so what's next I think uh, I think for the end of this video I think all I'm going to do is essentially try and make a few more quid back I'm going to sell all this silage probably a couple of trips worth uh, in fact let's have I'm only 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 15, 18, 21, 24, 25, 26. And the trailer takes 16. So it is, it's just under two loads, right. So, um, in fact, we'll uh, we'll keep on using this one for now. I just thought I'd park it here and show it you in the sun with its fresh paint job. But obviously, do you know what, actually, while I'm, while I'm very quickly, I'll just show you what I've done with the field. We've still got most of it, as much as I could keep of it. That's now that field, essentially. I've just trimmed it back a little bit more, obviously. Given uh, given this area a bit of workroom, just to, if, if I decide to park anything or put anything in here, it gives uh, gives the tractors and stuff a room to manoeuvre here. Um, and obviously, the yeah, the field just has just trimmed itself around the, out, the outer edge of that building where it popped itself there. Um, I haven't done anything with uh, bees and chickens. I know I, uh, I contemplated it before. Um, but I couldn't place anything down purely at the minute just because I couldn't find anywhere that I was happy to put them. OCD and all that. So I am going to have another th little think about that. The, the, the particular beehives that I had in mind, they were a couple of grand each. Um, I can't remember how much that the chicken shed that I wanted to uh, place down was. But uh, the, the, the issue I had with the chicken shed, it didn't actually indicate... Where its boundaries were, it, it didn't didn't have a fence. I'll show you actually. Um, um, right, there's that. If I again just jump into construction, animals, chickens, it was this one, chicken pasture, but it doesn't actually indicate to me where the boundary of the chicken pasture lies. So I I, I don't want to. I can't really put it here or anything like that because it'll just be all the chickens will be roaming around where vehicles potentially are and. Um, I suppose no I don't want to be putting them next to fields or anything like that not too close anyway so yeah so anyway I suppose there's that but again they'll be roaming around. oh I don't know actually it depends where it's going to it's, it's, it, there's no indication either there where the eggs are going to spawn so I don't, I'd be a bit hesitant of uh, popping it here for example and then to find that the eggs spawn to the right of it there in half in the wall of the uh, of the fake bunker. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's, uh, again, something for me to think about, something to do. I would like to get some chickens at some point, but I quite fancy a pasture like that that's just a bit bit different. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Bale trailer. Let's get the bale trailer. We shall find out which cell point is giving us the most dollar. Or pound, as it were. Get a, get a load loaded up first. So, 
wing it in. There we go. Boom. Done. Okay. Just send it out the front gate. In fact, we'll have a quick check first. What do I want? I want the... This one. Silage, where are you? Okay, so 337, 330, 324, 336, 32... Mm. Do you know what? For the sake of it, for the sake of a couple of pounds, I'm just going to go next door to Valley V Bales. We'll still get a chunk of money for it. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to be too bothered about that. A couple of quid here and there, actually. Valley View is literally just around the corner here, so we shall go here on our doorstep. I suppose whatever we uh, whatever we don't make from the top dollar in silage, we'll make. We'll, we'll save in fuel, I guess, won't we? But uh... right, so. Bring up the heads up display. Sell, 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 sell. 14,484 plus 869. So 15,000. 15,3. That's not bad. Will do. The, um, the shed I just placed down was about 45 grand, I think. So if, I'm, if I can make 30 back just from the silage bales. That's going to do for me. That really will. Right. Let's reset the trailer. Wing this in here. Dead quick. I suppose we're not going to get a full full trailer load from this one, are we? Go there. Bum, 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 bum. Let's swing you around there. Get that last one in the corner. There we go. Yeah, I'm not too stressed about the silage now at the minute. We've got the uh, the grass field is is ready to be cut. I'm going to wait till next month to do that though, just to give it that extra extra time to get a another bit of growth inside it, a bit of length. I'll hopefully go towards a, a slightly better yield. I think this might be a, quite a few quid less actually than the one we made before. Let's apply the brakes a bit earlier this time, shall we? Go. Okay. Nine and a half. So what did we what did we say? About fifteen. Fifteen for that before. Fifteen's. So Twenty-four and a bit. Twenty-four and a half grand, give or take. Not bad at all. Twenty yeah, twenty-four and a half, so we've made back a good chunk of money that I've just uh Frittered away on my new uh, my new tractor shed, <laughs> but you know what? That's all part of the fun of the game, isn't it? I've, as I said before, I've, I've always really, really enjoyed building farms from scratch and place, just placing down buildings and doing the landscaping bit around it, and you know, planting trees around it to eventually uh, make it look like it's been there forever. Um, and as I, you know, I've not really had the opportunity to do that on this uh, wonderful map. Because it's already been done for us. Yeah, I think that looks alright. Don't you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. It's, uh... Yeah, I quite like it, if I'm honest. I've moved a couple of the implements around just to... to use up the, the space that we've just created in the other sheds. Uh, there we go. Let's turn that off there. Like, for example, I've just stuffed up the field scanner there for absolutely no reason whatsoever, apart from just because I can. Um, this ne this shed's now empty, obviously. We'll fill that up with silage bales when we've made the when we've cut the grass. Uh, we've got the seeds and the lime in here. A couple of the, I've got the stone picker and the uh, bale spike. I've stuck the front loader in there with the manure fork. Obviously, we've got the the manure and the slurry spreader there. Slurry tanker. Our beautifully painted trailer. That does look nice, doesn't it? But yeah, you, you know what's what. I don't need to show you around all that stuff. So, yeah, that's. Um, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode, everyone. Um, we've had a good episode. We've got a bit. We've uh, made a bit of money again. We've spent a load of money again. Um, 
I've got a new workshop, obviously. Really happy with that. Um, yeah, and we've uh, obviously in the next episode we need to crack on with our field prep. Uh, we need to get, uh, we've got to need to do a whole load of work in the new big field over here. And I think we're going to be getting some seed into the ground with the new cedar. Um, oh yeah, we got a new cedar, didn't we? Of course, forgot about that already. Yeah, this field needs uh, needs a good coat of looking at. It needs uh, it needs mulching, it needs liming, it needs uh, cultivating now because that's what something that's a step I need to not forget to do because I can't drill without it. Um, yep, yeah, and get the uh, we'll get a crop in there and in here and in the other one. Oh, and the uh, and the soybean field that we've just harvested as well. That uh, that's going to need a whole load of prep. So yeah, next episode is all going to be about the prep. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I really hope you've enjoyed the video um, and found it a little bit of fun and a bit interesting. Uh, as always, if you're new to the channel uh, and you like the way I do things, you like my content, then please consider hitting, hitting the subscribe button. Um, leave a like on the video if you have obviously liked it and um, leave me a comment. Any of you, if you fancy leaving me a comment with any suggestions, let me know if you like my new shed um, and obviously how the, uh, how the series is going so far. Any comments or suggestions are always greatly appreciated. And and also, uh, don't forget that I have recently become a Giants partner and I now have a partner code Farmer Sim. Uh, so if any of you are in the market for a DLC or an add-on or even the full game itself or any of the season passes, please consider using my uh, partner code. Uh, it would greatly help me out, um, help out a content creator as it were. So yeah, thanks again everyone. I shall see you all in the next episode.